out in the open, the complexities of life seem further away. But most people live their lives slap bang alongside others. It's been said tongue in cheek, of course, that schools would run so much more smoothly if it wasn't for the staff and the pupils. And hospitals too, if it wasn't for the staff and the patients. It's a kind of clumsy way of saying that wonderful though people are, sometimes we're our own worst enemies. Complicating things and making life much more difficult. And we can see that right now in those who are reluctant to stay physically distant from others, increasing the likelihood of a spike in the spread of the coronavirus for all of us. We can see it too in the arguments around race and specifically in white people's reluctance to recognise what those of other colours have to face. The world would be a beautiful place if it wasn't for humans. But as well as having that self-destruct button, there is within us the most amazing capacity for doing the most wonderful and touching things. So as this new week unfolds, let's look for ways to surprise other people with tiny, thoughtful actions. But every bit as importantly, let's surprise them with carefully chosen words there to encourage absolutely everyone. Amen.